So how are you doing? How is the sex system of your eyes? What did you discover about your your eyes, the phoenix? I had like a bit of a block, but I think it was from the artificial light, really sensitive to it. But I found the rotations I noticed. In the morning, in the morning, yeah, 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 I kind of got to like this kind of section and I kind of would stop because of the light. Like, I felt like it was pretty sort of maybe that was just a very good fit. And then the manual history, the operation, injuries. Broken both wrists. Broken both. He could speak about it. Yeah, broken both wrists. And, and that's it. Okay. And you shared your story in the opening circles, okay? And I somehow I feel like to bring it. You shared that story with your son. Thanks to me for that story. I feel like what keeps coming up is is the the energy seems to be free here, and then it gets to this section, mm -hmm. and and it seems to be blocked, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's from communication to people as well. Um, I feel like a, a nervousness around that, um, and in the last exercise, the joy and the grief were very much together for me. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like there's, there's some like hesitation and that seems to be, be that um, scared to find joy from also finding grief. Which I think is like from my journey. Mm -hmm. Fear of finding uh, joy? Yeah. So that also holds grief. To call it grief. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they're, they're too quite mm -hmm. attached. All right. And so you are simply feeling this energy here and it comes up and then the communication and it makes you nervousness. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you feel it now? Do you feel this nervousness now? A little bit. Yeah. Where is it in the world? How do you express it? How do you experience it? It's like a tightness. Um, a tightness around here and, and a little bit here for me. It feels like it wants to express, but it's not so it's here and it's here wants to be expressed. Any time they ask you to find the research now, how do you feel about it? Where where do you sense place of connection? Yeah. So access yeah. down by the sternum. Yeah. yeah, just up below the sternum. Well, how does it feel here? What it's balanced. Balanced. Yeah, I think that this is much more balanced in my group. Mm -hmm. All right, that's great. Powerful reading. For most men, this place is a uh, place of tension, of great resources. Yeah. It's another place of power for men, power for vulnerability. So in this session, I would invite you to go with deep connected breathing with the open mouth. So there's no gap between inhalation and exhalation. So it might be like... And you continue this breath, and then I will guide you to... to if any sound comes, or emotions, or movement, or feelings, feel free to explore anything that comes in this session. Okay? Anything else needs to be said before we start? All right. Let's experience it. Would you like to start sitting, laying down, standing? How how your body wants to start? Maybe lying down. Lying down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I want you to. Oh, 
let's start with taking deep connected breath. So if you look into the structure of the thoracic settlement, you can notice what you can notice. Anybody can notice. And then suddenly, how the breath flows. Yeah, the first thing that comes to me is very strong chest, the pectoral is muscle. So this area, it's somehow like you can see that from the first opens the whole body. So some of this is also his research. There's probably a place where it's open, the tissue, the muscles, easy flow, and it breathes first. And then there's a wave. And then somehow the top of the lungs and pectoralis Somewhere interrupted, and that's what he also mentioned. Then it comes out here, and then difficulty here to express. So, the top of the chest, the shoulders, and then the throat. This uh, 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 area of holding, if you would say, in the interiors. And what we look into deep connected breath is how we can find that the thoracic segment moves like three dimensional ball. Expands uh, up and down, back and forth, and side at the same time. How we can find this fluid in the body? You do notice this? From the sternum also. You're pretty calm. Okay. Noticing what you said. And how, or exactly how you reflect before I said. Yeah, it feels tight from, from this sort of section upwards, yeah. Okay. with the solar plexus. Yeah. And in this first session we will do an eye movement. An eye movement is uh, designed to bring the person to a higher state of alertness. And this usually brings a lot of feelings when somebody trap down the eyes this way, can trigger some, some feelings. And then the idea of this is that we stay quite awareness and somebody is following the thought, you uncoupling the immobility with the emotion that comes with the resource with the solar plexus in this case, you know, because that's his resource. And finding a way where he can be in the feelings and be connected to the body, because this will trigger some feeling states. You know? So those of you who know EMDR, I'm moving the sensitization, uh, processing, this is exactly part of it. Uh, I can talk about it a little bit more later, after the session, because I'm going to speak now. 
but in that year since you, you grew up in Aspen, I know you were a D, Vegas. And you, how much you measure what is the, what is the top and down? What do you lose me? You measure someone. You keep the head straight, it goes just the eyes. And you measure what is the smartest in the world. Or down and up. And then you start following, you start connecting with your resources, reading. And you move in unpredictable ways. Sometimes we have faster, sometimes it's slower. Don't go too fast, so you can fall off with this and fall off. And all of the time, stay with the body, stay with your solar process. And you notice, if there is a place in your dimension, this left top in the morning meditation, that he's skipping this area, go there for a moment. This can bring something to work with. He's staying present with me, it's not at all, so I keep going. Some people, after five seconds, in a second, you might just to finish. If it's going to overwhelm, you might just Usually we spend maybe one minute to read it. If it's too much, you slow down, you close up and you keep coming back to the body. And you can contain, you can separate it. And you close your eyes. And after this you do some body work on the other one eyes. To make sure you use the fingers so you don't make the face and wear your paint. <laughs> and for a moment, slow down the breath, slow down the breath, and check its presence. Let's go a deeper breath again, open your eyes, we're going to the second house. Stand on the center flex of the foot. Deeper breath, deeper breath. Thank you. 
feel my mouth relax. This is a good setting for the entire skin. If you relax your mouth, you can relax into the breath, into the flowers. Yes. You hear the difference when you relax the jaw, when the breath moves. And then slow down for the most. Slow down. What's present for you, Luis, now? Feelings of, of tightness and sadness here. Sadness in your chest? You did sadness in your voice now? I want to express what you would say or do. What would the expression of the sadness now? <sighs> It was like uh, loneliness. Just go into this feeling of sadness and loneliness. Do you remember the first time when you felt it? Yeah. yeah. The first time I felt it was, was, was in the hospital. It was a few ago. No longer being a family, and then no longer being connected, and and being being myself again, just myself. Yeah, we went to family. Yeah. Is any connection of this experience and your intention, what you shared about uh, expressing and the tension of the chest and throat? Mm -hmm. uh, It's like I need to speak in order to to connect. I guess. Why don't you? Why don't you speak now? I'll just go and speak now. Whatever comes yeah. from the inside. Like I need to speak. Always. I feel that. I feel like the words don't come as easy as they used to. And there's a fear about connecting with people on a deeper level because then they will see this 
anyone to be in this. And then to withdraw is the safest option. And to to make to make a small statement of connection is is very easy, but to to actually laugh, to actually enjoy connection is is what's missing. Mm -hmm. Let's put it forward the right. Feels like a harness. How is it in your solar plexus now? What is the sensation there? Like a flutter. Mm. Check what is present there. From this space, may I ask you about something? From this space, how would you like to bring in your life what you shared about your intention more intimacy, more joy, more playfulness, the qualities that you shared? And listen, how would you, would you bring that in your life? I would bring it into my life with no inhibition mm -hmm. to and to share and to contribute. No inhibition to speak, to share, to contribute. Wonderful. So what do you think to this space? 
Feels light, feels very light. Whatever comes out, I'm just feel Breathing this lightness in the shoulders, in the chest, in the throat. Any more men come from this spirit? No. No. Okay. It looks like a flying bird. It's different, it's more as a unit, like expanding fluidity. Something open here, it's no more interruption, it's just openness, fully. What is the final? Friends for insight, for your attention. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of sound. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of sound. Just relaxing fully into the breath. Why in, in the reason you guys have any questions about the flow? And it was unclear. Yeah. So I know I, in all the other trainings that I've done, we always use lateral eye movements. Is there a difference between lateral eye movements and yeah. just moving everywhere, or is it kind of similar? We used to do like a cool down down, then we had a moment where we went and just did the lateral movement, which is, which is just E and DR. Yeah. And EMDR is triggering more lateral movement of the eyes. What it does to the brain is stimulating the brain thinking you're in forward confrontation. So when you walk and when you run, your eyes are doing this either you're aware of them because they, they check in the environment. With all the lateral movement, um, it switch over the amygdala at the threat center. And the idea is to bring higher alertness so the person thinks like they are walking or running. And that is uh, triggering. And, and that is triggering also some feelings. And then you, like when I said, you're encountering uh, disassociation and freeze from that feeling with the movement that I've done that is all, all around, it goes in the space where it's kind of more triggering 
so you can do both. If you have somebody who can very easily disassociate to one the natural movement, left and right, because this will be more, much more challenging the goal of the race. With the point I was making, feeling that he needs a little bit more stimulation somehow to get into the chart. So for people like this, that you need to get more stimulation, do that movement. So you can choose. Um, what much more safer is just lateral movement, near the ER. And then this is more embedding. It can bring much more quicker some feelings, maybe fear or anger. Can I add something? Hmm? Can I add something? Yeah, sure. Sometimes I've seen this, um, this movement for activation done in exchanges. Where people just do it mechanically, you know, you, you go like in a mechanical game and you move your hand like this. Like anything else that you do in this modality, if you're not embodied yourself in what you want to offer with this exercise to the person, if you're not also connecting to the person to see how they feel while you're doing that, then it's not gonna work in the way that you want it to work. So also in the movement, like also be embodied yourself, feel yourself, and maybe start slow, see what the reaction is, maybe then go faster, check the resource, there's no activation, they maybe zigzag a little bit. The speed and all these things, they don't matter as much as you being embodied where you're doing with but intention. You know, I want to help this person connect their emotions. So let me do it in a particular way. Don't just do it mechanically because then it it doesn't connect between the two people. I have a question. Yes. Quite often happens in the session when I'm using this uh, movement, if I'm like, you know, flowing up in yeah. this like, hypnotic space yeah. and stop breathing yeah. and saying, like, I can't do both together, like, keep breathing and following and it's right. Yeah. So it's pretty, like, every second. Uh, okay, it's uh, how, how to work better in this situation with this. Uh, it happens for some people they go into this association very quickly with this particular exercise. Mm -hmm. Then uh, do it, they check out and they bring them back again. They, they will go to sleep or they close their eyes. And you ask them, I will verify, please come back. Uh, and you ask them to do it one more round. Or leave them for a moment with the resource. Just, it's kind of easy to keep on bringing them back and then slowly, slowly they build that resilience of presence. Mm -hmm. It sometimes okay. takes longer time for somebody who is very disassociated by them to stay present for a long time. Just try to get upset when you think, let them disassociate and bring back even more. And they will be able to connect with the feelings. What are the feelings when it comes to this association? Is it familiar that you do in your life, in relationship with other people? How the how the um, defense mechanism affect your life? To so bring it somehow to something correct with a few questions, if possible. Mm. And and if you do ask, you want to ask? Yes, yeah, so we open this. So you can do also circular movement, you all know with it circular movement because it's much easier to follow. You know, the online it's a bit difficult to introduce this. Um, it will be much less stimulating. Similar and and, um, and it has different purposes because the circular movement is predictable. You will follow it. It will be more the eye. The circular movement will be more in the attention of the eyes. This will be the main purpose. Where this purpose of this is bringing emotions, creating some feelings, more than just the body and muscles. Because in the moment you can predict and the body can go into different states. And, and again, try to notice where the eyes are skipping over and go to those places. Yeah. If the person has oh, resources, you know, stay in the body. So when the, when the expression comes, it's embodied. Right. 
Yeah, the view it was subtle, but it was it was quite a lot changed throughout throughout that session. As soon as I could move my arms, I felt like free, and and then afterwards I was breathing very differently. Mm -hmm. I, I still feel quite emotional. Yeah. 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 Yeah.